Hello everyone, I am Yuchen Zhang from University of New South Wales in Australia. The paper I'm going to present is Risk Averse Graph Learning for Real-Time Power System Emergency Load Shedding. The paper is supported by University of New South Wales and Nanyang Technological University. This presentation is divided into four parts, including the background and challenges, the risk averse graph stage model, which is the key proposed model in this paper, and then the case study to validate the proposed model, and then lastly, the conclusions. Uh, firstly, the background and challenges. As we all know, the world is experiencing a fast global climate change, and the rising concerns on this climate change is driving the need of energy transformation from fossil fuels to sustainable energy. In this already started transformation, electricity would be the uh, primary energy carrier, so the power grids are also experiencing significant changes. Uh, I have listed uh, some of the um, changes here. Uh, they are both at, uh, they are at the generation side, the distribution side, and also uh, the network interface, uh, referring to the power electronic interface to integrate the renewable energy sources. With all these ongoing changes in the power grids, a consequence is that the power systems are now exposed to higher level of, of operating uncertainties, uh, as well as the complicated system dynamics. Uh, these impacts will pose new challenges to the stable operation of power grids. So here are some evidences of the escalating power system stability problems. The loss of power system stability will usually have cascading impact to the system and sometimes result in power outages and even blackout events. Uh, with the increasing uptake of renewable energy, the world has experienced the increasing trend uh, of electricity disruption and blackouts. Here are some significant blackout events over the world in recent years. Uh, this uh, trend has indicated the current system may not be adequate to support stable operation, which shows an urgent need to enhance the power system stability over the world. To ensure our power system stability, this paper focuses on emergency load shading, which is an effective event-driven stability control measure to prevent unstable system propagation following a large disturbance. With higher level of system variations and uncertainties, future renewable grids require emergency load shedding to be able to rapidly respond to these uncertainties. The traditional emergency load shedding methods work on a lookup table and online matching fashion. Um, this approach normally requires a specific lead time to build up the lookup table and then the load shedding solution would not be accurate, especially when uh, there is higher level of uh, variations and uncertainties in the system. Another newly developed stream of method is the data-driven methods, uh, which adopt artificial intelligence techniques. These intelligent models are normally trained offline and then can be used online to make fast, fast decisions based on real-time operating conditions of the system. The real-time computation capability makes these uh, data-driven methods outperforming the traditional lookup table because of their ability to rapidly adapt to the variations in system operating conditions. Now let me uh, present the proposed uh, risk-averse graph, graph stage model. In this paper, we propose a risk-averse graph stage model for real-time power system emergency load shedding. There are two main contributions of the proposed method. The first contribution is the ability to, to embed and capture the power network topology into the uh, machine learning model by using graph stage algorithm. In power system operation, uh, network topology can provide critical structural information uh, that decides the roles and rates of power flow. Uh, which can greatly affect the load shedding locations and the amounts. So it is very important to consider the power network topology in machine learning, and this is expected to improve the prediction accuracy. However, most of the existing data-driven methods use flat vectors or root diagrams to uh, represent system operating conditions, but the power network topology uh, has not been well considered. In our approach, we use, we use graph stage based graph learning to embed uh, our network topology in the neural network models. Among the various um, graph neural networks, graph stage is an inductive learning algorithm uh, that can linearly transform uh, the graph node interconnections. So it can embed unknown nodes more efficiently. Um, 
and that's more suitable for large scale power systems. The figure at the bottom of the page uh, illustrates how the node connections are aggregated in the graph stage model. The normal way to build graph for a power network is to treat buses as uh, graph nodes and the transmission lines as graph edges. However, in our uh, graph learning method, we construct two association graphs uh, to fully capture the power system operating condition uh, based on the topology information. Uh, one is the bus based graph and the other one is the line based graph. Another contribution of the proposed method is to meet the stability constraints in the ERS optimization problem. Uh, when we take a load shedding action at emergency state, one hard requirement would be to ensure the stability of the system after taking the counter action, right? However, the existing data driven uh, emergency load shedding methods aim to pursue the lowest control cost as the objective, um, but has not well considered this stability constraint. Uh, which means the load chain action may fail to uh, maintain system stability and can result in higher economic losses in the cascading failure events. In our proposed method, we propose uh, and use risk averse learning uh, to meet the stability constraints in the emergency load shedding uh, problem. The key of this risk averse learning is that we use a specially designed loss function which is the sum of two terms, a regular term and a penalty term. The regular term um, calculates the standard mean square error, and on top of that, we have added a penalty term to penalize the control actions with underestimated load chaining amount. We want to eliminate such underestimated control actions because they have higher likelihood to result in control failure. Uh, by incorporating regular and the penalty terms, the deep learning model can be guided to largely avoid control failure. Okay, next is the case study. Uh, we have tested the proposed uh, emergency load shedding method on two benchmark power systems, which are the New England 39 bus system and the Nordic 41 bus system. In both systems, we have replaced uh, some coal-fired plants um, into wind farms to increase the renewable penetration. Here are the testing results. We have used the three uh, performance indices uh, to evaluate the effectiveness of the proposed method. They are MAPE for prediction error, the, successful, uh, the success rate for the likelihood of the control success, and also a new index called ELLD, which is the expected load loss deviation. This index is mainly to comprehensively uh, evaluate the overall control cost, considering both the prediction error and the control success rate. We compared five different neural network models, including three deep learning algorithms, and two of them are also trained using risk-averse, risk-averse and risk-neutral methods for comparison. Risk-averse and risk-neutral learning methods for comparison. In the two tables, we can see that the graph stage algorithm uh, show lower prediction error in MAPE as compared to the other algorithms. If we compare the risk neutral and the risk averse models, we can also see that the risk averse models significantly improve the control success rate uh, with negligible impairment on MAPE and the overall ELLD, which represents the overall control cost, is also significantly reduced by the risk averse learning. Finally, let me uh, make the conclusions. Uh, this paper aims to develop new data-driven method to achieve real-time ERS uh, decision-making, which is a risk-averse graph stage method. But on the one hand, the graph stage algorithm can efficiently capture power network topology in machine learning, and on the other hand, the risk-averse learning method uh, can train the neural network to meet the stability constraints. The, the numerical test results on two benchmark um, power systems can also verify these advantages over the, uh, of the proposed method over the existing data-driven methods for power system emergency load shedding. And that's the end of this presentation. If you have any inquiry about the uh, paper, you can contact me through the email. Thanks for your listening.